Hi! Feed the Beast Unleashed combined with Oculus Rift support through Minecraft VR is an awesome gaming experience. This video will show step by step how to get Feed the Beast Unleashed and Minecraft VR installed and working together. See the video description for download links and any text you'll need to copy and paste later on. Alright, for the first step, we'll call this step zero, uh, we want to basically make sure we're starting from scratch. And if you already have Minecraft installed or Feed the Beast, we want to back up those or move those to another location. Hit your Windows key and press R. It brings up the run dialog and you can type in percent app data percent and that will take you to the default Minecraft uh, installation location which will be dot Minecraft. Um, so here we just say dot backup. So that'll save, you know, put aside any existing Minecraft installation you might have. Also, if you've installed FTP before, let's do the same thing for the FTP launcher. Call that backup. And then wherever you installed FTP, um, I've already removed mine, but say if you installed it to your desktop, you just copy that somewhere else or rename that FTP.backup. Okay, so now we're starting from scratch as if we'd never had either of those installed. The first thing we want to do is install FTB. So we go to the FTB homepage, which is www.feed-the-beast.com and there is a client download. We want to get that executable and run that. Then it's going to ask us where we want to install the FTP directory. Um, I'm going to put that on my desktop. You can so desktop FTP apply, and it's going to okay, go and so download. Uh, it's finished downloading, and um, we want to go ahead and launch whichever mod that we want to play. In this tutorial, we're going to be using FTB Unleashed. You'll need to create a profile. And here you'll type in your Minecraft login information and password. Click Add and say Launch. And that's going to start a second download process. OK, so now Feed the Beast has finished downloading. It launched as Minecraft the Mojang logo and uh, this if I recall correctly seems it takes a good while you can click on this uh, FTB console window kind of watch what's happening in the background so as soon as that finishes we'll come back okay it finished launched Minecraft and we see the main screen so at this point we're just gonna quit the game so now we have FTB installed, and we have an FTB Unleashed folder on our desktop with a Minecraft folder. So next step is to go and download the vanilla Minecraft, and that is at minecraft.net. Log in with your username, password. Click the download now, click minecraft.exe for Windows, run, log in, let that download. Okay, so now we have vanilla Minecraft 1.52 installed. Quit the game. We can leave both of these sites. Okay. The next thing we need to do is download and install Minecraft for 1.52. So we're going to go to the Minecraft builds page. Down into Minecraft 1.52. Get the latest installer. Run that. And if you want to include, if you have a Razor Hydra, you should include that. But uh, for this tutorial, we won't. So it installed successfully. 
and now we need to install Forge. So we need to go to the Minecraft Forge downloads page, visit files.minecraftforge.net, and we want to get Forge for Minecraft 1.52, the recommended version, and we want to get the Universal. If you're familiar with AdFly, you know you just have to continue and skip the ad before you can get to the file. Okay. We want to rename it. We're going to call it Minecraft Forge 7.8.1.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
I'm going to go ahead and switch into Oculus Rift mode now. I'm going to put my Rift on and click on VR mode and it asks you to look ahead, press spacebar, look all the way left, look all the way to the right. Head and press space bar. Okay, so now everything's calibrated. Um, you'll want to go into player preferences, and if you've set up your Oculus profile, click yes and done. I also like to go into this move aim control and bump up the keyhole to 60 degrees, and this one to 60 degrees as well. Oops, here we go. I'm gonna reset my origin just a little bit. There we go. Um, I think everything else I, I like personally. And then we'll go into single player and create new world. Turn on cheats. Leave the world type as default. Call this FTB VR. We are in. All around, everything looks good. As you can see, by changing those two keyholes to 60 degrees, I can move my cursor, you know, up and down freely and turn, move my head independent of the cursor. That makes it a lot easier to mine things that are way above you or below you without having to break your neck by looking straight down or straight up. So, since I turned on cheats, I'll show you just a couple of fun things you can do with Feed the Beast. Uh, for cobble on the yellow section that means as this thing digs in the ground all the cobblestone will go into this chest and then everything else will go into this chest so let's put down our power source and you have a mine robot clearing away the landscape and then it will build a frame and then it will start digging for valuable resources so our little robot is almost done building the frame with this super powerful laser. And look at that thing go. Look at all that dirt flowing through our pipes. And as you see, nothing's going into this chest because right now it's just digging dirt. The top few layers are all dirt. Also, if you hit F3, you can see your frame rate. I'm getting 104, 114. But I also have... Uh, under the VR settings and optics rendering, we have full screen anti-aliasing on, 
with a 2.0 scale and that makes a pretty good image in the Oculus Rift. Everything looks, you know, I'm still getting frame rates well above 60, which is great. And everything looks really good. Yeah, so we got some cobblestone that went into here. Just two flush, but soon that will fill up with tons of cobblestone. And then we have some copper ore right here. So there are tons of videos on how to play FTB Unleashed and all the amazing things you can do with it. You can see if I clear out this filter here, there's 81 pages of, of blocks and items that these mods add to Minecraft. It's just amazing. You have all kinds of technological things and all kinds of magical things and all kinds of farming things. Everything can be automated. You have all kinds of decorational things. It's just tons and tons and tons. There's all kinds of computers and programming and electronic things you can build. Just never-ending supply of challenging and complex fun stuff to do. So hope this has helped you out and I hope you enjoy it. Have fun. Bye-bye. So one other thing that this mod has is jetpacks. I'm going to give myself one. Fully charged and ready to go. Three, two, one. Oh, shit. <laughs> what did I do wrong? Oh, yeah, I didn't turn it on. Three, two, one. Lift off. You can see my house from here.